Taros, the hall monitor, out here to play. And, of course, we have Kakuja on the Hattori, who, you know, she is definitely one of the, the classics in 2v2, kind of falling by the wayside right now, because we don't see, you know, a, a whole lot of people just, like, playing sword in 2v2 right now. You know, we get, like, Ajala here and there, but everyone wants the axe and the hammer, or, like, the axe and the spear. She just has, she has a good combination, just not super meta right now. That makes sense. And, you know, the weapons you're talking about, kind of, look at that. I was going to talk about coverage of hitboxes uh, going into a 2v2 match. And we saw nice. a recovery come out from both weapons. And that's exactly, wow! <laughs> Just hopped off the side. Keith with the Sare fastballing. That was so beautiful to take out Holix. Stuff the recovery and all. All right, and Keith is looking uh, mad crispy out here. I have to say, anytime I, I pull up and I'm playing like a video game, oh, hold on, team combo, no, it's going to drop the gravity cancel stomp. But hold on, I have an edge guard? No, okay. Anytime I pull up in a game, wow. <laughs> and I see someone whose gamer tag is just like something plain, like it's Joe or Bob, they're always a force, right? We got Keith here making it all the way to the top four already. Oh, and the D-like ground pound actually drops there, so surviving with that stock a little bit longer as well, not bad. Yeah, I don't know if you know this uh, <laughs> This Dragon Ball Fighters player. His name is uh, Zach Rob. And the <laughs> fact that he had two first names and he was so nice, it was, it was uh, like a joke between me and my friend group. But yeah, so exactly what you're saying. You know, if a guy just got a regular name out there, <laughs> that's, it's always something to be like, hey, I feel like this guy might be about something. And right now, Keith and Kakuja doing amazing. Hollick's gonna take another loss of a stock, and GTG trying to hold on to this nice air. Kakuja's gonna try to make it back. They wanna jump Keith, but not really gonna commit. They still turn into one piece, still gonna get the stock off of Kakuja. And man, this is crazy because it's like this game has been heavily a game of interrupts. Like one person will get a hit, someone will interrupt them, someone will interrupt that person, interrupting that person, and then it just like keeps going back and forth. It feels like it's seemingly never ending, but actually Keith and Kakuja have the lead right now. Ghost to Ghost, GTG and Holix, they, they gotta figure it out right now if they wanna have a chance here. These are the guys who, they made top eight once before. These two on the other hand, they've been here plenty of time. Yeah, they've definitely been here a lot, but I mean, you know, sometimes we talk about how it puts so much pressure on you whenever you're the new guy and you're in the spotlight, but sometimes if you just don't even pay attention to the fact that you're in the spotlight as the newbie and you're just like, you know what, it's just time to grind, it's looking like that's what they're doing. Keith is putting on a show. Wow. Oh my gosh. And Keith is alone. I did not even notice that Kakuja was about to lose that stock, and here we are in clutch situation. Good damage on Holix, but right now getting pieced up by the axe from GTG. And you can see Keith is like, ah, please weapon spawn. There we go. Gets one right in his hand like he summoned it. And now it's like, all right, if I can just clean hit Holix one time, all right, we in business. But of course, you know, Holix is going to be running away, and Keith's going to have to chase. And then on the other side, you're going to have GTG just trying to, you know, hit any attempts that Keith tries to make on to uh, on a Holix. But now it's at the point where it's like, wow, both of y'all kind of hurt. So, so Keith's just going to start yeah. swinging. You know, whoever can get it can get it. If Keith lands something big, he's going to turn it into a 1v or get a KO, right? That's what he... Oh, he's trying to go over the top of that weapon toss. And I think that was the best option. He ate the hit and he's good to go. He just can't land anything. He's getting popped back and forth. There's two people to deal with. So much coverage. Try to put this, go for the stomp there. Weapon toss not going to land. He's able to make it back. Oh, I thought he was going to try to dip under with the dodge and land the recovery. Maybe that's what he wanted. But the recovery from the unarmed is going to work. Okay, he almost got a KO. And you see the blue team knows. They're like, that's terrible. So he drops the D-Light recovery. I'm pretty sure that would have KO. That gives Ooh. Keith another chance. And Keith is like, if I can land one stomp, I might be able to have a chance. But the blue team does not allow that to happen. As GTG and Holix go ahead and secure game one. It was close, though. You know, GG's. It was close, though. Definitely close. Definitely close. It's like... <sighs> Kakuja was playing well also, but I think Keith was the glue that held that together. Uh, Kakuja lost that stock, which is too fast. And that's one of those things that is big in a 2v2 setting. You got to be able to go, you know what? I can't leave my mans out there alone. And you got to allow them to play if they're holding so much more stocks and health than you. Yeah, it's just like... 
Uh, it, it's tough. It, it's tough to find those final blows. I think Keith probably wanted the, the, the axe, to be honest, but got disarmed and got forced onto the hammer. Uh, which, you know, that's not like hammer is a bad 2v1 weapon, but it's sometimes Taro's axe signatures can kind of just be a little bit more clutch in a scenario like that. Either way, going ahead and moving our way back onto Mammoth Fortress for game number two. And we can see these guys are keeping it fairly even. GTG gonna go ahead, try to swing a little bit, see if he can rack up that damage. And, you know, the Bren's actually looking pretty good right now. The way she moving. And then she whips an, an end light. It's okay, though. <laughs> hey, you said moving nice. You didn't say being accurate. So <laughs> yeah, we're true. still on point. <laughs> still on point. All right. But Cockers are going to land a Sair on Holix. Trying to go down there for the oh. whole scoop. Not going to work. And, wow, Ghost to Ghost going to lose the stock. I don't know exactly why they couldn't make it back. They Maybe it was just the fear. A little, a little yeah. bit too much. They were trying to touch the corner, the bottom right-hand corner of the stage with a fastball, and they just dipped right by without touching. They couldn't make it back. Yep, the fear of Taros came down there. Oh, oh my gosh. Keith. Keith jumped down there, tried to land a Sair, wasn't able to get back, didn't have the recovery on deck. Maybe they just forgot they didn't touch the ground. And, uh, yeah, going to throw that one away. But still a pretty even game. Red team actually still has the lead. But they could have been bigger if Keith didn't lose that one. They got to be careful here because they don't want to get sandwiched by Team Blue. I like the positioning from the red team. You know, they stay on opposite sides of each other, but not too far away so that they can always get the interrupt. And there we go. It's going to send, who is that, a ghost to ghost off stage, GTG off stage. Come down, gets the pogo. Not going to be enough, though. And to come right back on. Hollux is looking kind of crispy with the spear right now. The, moving around, dancing, and just able to get punishes like that one right there from the neutral air. And tr just, just kind of tatting and annoying Keith. Not really following up on much. And now they're on Kakuja. And he's going to have to deal with it. Tried to get the KO blow with the signatures. Uh, oh, my gosh. We're right back at him. Got to land that one. And another gravity cancel. Not enough to get the KO. But alone on the stage. Gets the pogo. Oh. Ooh, okay, this is getting crazy. Yo, keep up, folks. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of chaos going on. <laughs> I like this. Oh, sideline coming out. Nothing too crazy. Pogo from GTG. And you can see the red team is trying to get something going. There we go. It's going to be a KO, but also a KO for Team Blue. We're down to the final stocks. GTG and Cockroach are around the same amount of damage. The race is going to begin. Who's going to fall first? Keith taking some damage, but so does Holix. These guys are swinging right now. I don't know. Keith trying to hold the corner. Allow Cockroach to Holix come in. Holix was so lucky. Holix was so lucky that team combo fell because that would have been way more damage if the Sig landed. No good. And here we are oh. trying to fight back. Keith landed some blows on Holix, but not able to get enough oh. team damage coming out on team red. But the Sayer, there it is. Oh. It's a 1v1. Okay, this is tough. Keith up against one of the highest PR players in the region. Going to try to do his best with this Taros. Trying to find the stomp because he knows the stomp's the win condition. You know, you get the stomp, boom, say you're off stage, get another, won't have to dodge, will have to use the touch stage. No, doesn't need to. Gets the unarmed down air, but another stomp will do it. Meanwhile, for Holix, it's like, you know, raw D light recovery might do it unarmed. Nice weapon throw to oh, seal I it out. Oh, I love that weapon toss. That was so cheeky. It's like kind of like, okay, I'm going to bait the because he fast fell first and baited like he's going to go for a recovery, jumped up. Okay, now you have to go under him, weapon toss. The ground pound would have been too slow, easy to react to. The weapon toss was beautiful. Yeah, we're going to be able to get the replay of it pretty soon right here. You can see he jumps off stage, right? And if you're the other person there, right, if you trying to recover and you get sent that far off stage, a lot of the times you'll see players burn their dodge immediately so that they can get a second dodge to go ahead and touch the wall, right? But we didn't see that come out from Holix. Kind of jumped, jumped, got a little scared, burned the dodge. Because he had to use it to get close enough to get to the stage. And Keith was like, well, I'm rewarded for being patient now. I can just throw my weapon and cover this. Exactly. Once again, I got to bring up, that's what uh, Foda called babysitting, man. When yeah. You just jump out there. You don't even plan on doing anything. You're just scaring the other player into messing up the recovery. And Keith played that perfectly. Went ahead and made like $12 an hour for the babysitting job and got the, you know what I mean? Yeah, got the exactly. KO.
<laughs> Hit him with the school bully. Make sure you didn't walk down a certain hallway in between a certain class period. You know, it's just, yeah. just gatekeeping a little bit. And that's the way you got to do it sometimes. You don't even have to do anything. The pressure can be enough to make somebody else make a mistake. And so far, I mean, it's gotten Keith and Kakuja at least one dub so far. We're going to see if they're going to be able to carry that momentum into two as GTG and Holix try to strike back. Kakuja is doing wow. <laughs> Back to back, you know. Yeah, left side, right <laughs> side. Ghost to ghost. He created a ghost to a ghost. Got two of them out of there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Keith with those with that hammer looking real crisp. But I was going to talk about Kakuja looking so nice with the spear, but what I'm seeing is a lot of whiff sigs. The, the normal light buttons are hitting continuously, but the sigs aren't being as oh accurate. Gosh. But those are very accurate. Side airs coming out from Holix. Gonna take out both stocks. Gonna say, I got the same answer for you, Keith. I'm taking out both of y'all. Okay, we're gonna see what Keith and Kakuja have to say about that because Ghost to Ghost and Holix are trying to find their stride. Double Brin, of course, they have such a good ability to combo off of each other, but we haven't really seen those opportunities come out quite yet. And Keith's axe is a uh... Feels being a little bit too much for yeah. Ghost to Ghost right now. Every time Ghost to Ghost is like, okay, it's my turn. No, it's not. It's my turn. No, it's not. <laughs> you kind of just got to back off and reset that neutral. And there we go. Going to land a couple hits. Keith is fishing, trying to get the KO on Ghost to Ghost, but Ghost to Ghost trying to reverse that. Sayer dodge is good from Keith. Well, that was clean punish. Oh! Hold on. Can they help each other ladder or something? No, looks like Keith's going to go down. But at least Kakuja manages to hang on. But for how much longer has to survive the 2v1 until Keith gets back? All right, and they're good for now. Weapon spawn. <laughs> for now. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know what's coming soon. There it is. Oh, man. And that's not what you want as Team Red. You're going to lose your teammate before you can get that stock off of Ghost to Ghost. Holix trying to put damage on the Kakuja. I feel like the answer is let's deal with this and then we can handle Taros together. Yeah, Kaku just taking a lot of damage right now. This is their opportunity to 2v1 Holix, and I feel like they just gave Holix way too much space. Holix now going to go ahead and use that opportunity to go ahead and start setting up for the KO on Kaku, right? If you're Team Blue, that's the win con. Kaku has mad damage. If I'm Holix especially, I'm looking for that D-Light to catch them on the anti-air. And that's it. That's it. Man, and uh, I just feel like I just watched a horror movie. Holix was the <laughs> was the killer, and he just terrorized Kakuja on that total last stock. I'm trying to figure out why Keith didn't go help whenever they had him out there alone and let Holix do that to Kakuja, but I feel like maybe it was like, man, I'm terrible. So if I go swing and I hit him, I might... I might KO him, so mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I get the I get the process a little bit, but I feel like he should have helped out. I mean, even with that said, I mean, Keith, Keith in the position where it's like, oh, you know, kind of similar to the last time we saw him on the stage, but this time, you know, gets harpooned by a spear toss and won't be able to do this 2v1 either. But, I mean, even with all that said, like, Keith and Kakuja, they're keeping it close. These aren't one-sided matches by any means. Like, this could very easily be a game five. But I don't know if they should go back to Shipwreck anymore this set. They haven't been having a good time on it. It might be a time to keep it with Mammoth. Maybe, you know, flirt with Crystal. You know, weigh your options. Or maybe they're really going to say, you know what? I think we're going to get it every time we play on Shipwreck. It's close to one more time. No, they're going to flirt with the Crystal Temple. Yeah, under... 400 damage coming out from Kakuja. Kakuja is going to switch over to the Hattori, switching off the Brin. Uh, maybe this is one of their specialty characters. Oh, my goodness. And Keith opted to go uh, with a character swap also. But maybe these are their real characters, and they were just trying to play the 2v2 meta, and now they're going with, okay, let's just go with what we're comfortable with and try to bring this back. Oh, man, that's not how you Yikes! start it out. A beautiful 2v1 combo coming out from Holix and GTG. I was wondering where it was. It was only a matter of time, and now Holix with the anti-airs on the Kakuja. I feel like Holix cannot be left alone with Kakuja, or else Kakuja is going to get steamrolled. I think they got to swap right now. Keith, you know, got to be that support, and Keith is trying 
the Ogrim on the Rocket Lance. You know, doing decent. There we go. Beautiful end sync. Doesn't get the weapon throw. Goes for the ground pound. Finish it off. Doesn't line it up. Could be bad for Keith. No, the red team stays alive, but they are behind. Man, that start was so <sighs> this is heartbreaking. And Kaka just still hurt on the second stock. Oh, so, oh no. no. And then you KO Keith. Oh, it's all falling apart. It's all going to shambles. They can still do this if they take these stocks quick without taking much damage. But this is a big lead to overcome. And I think, I, I, I think... They're regretting the Crystal Temple pick already, right? Because at least on Shipwreck, they knew what they were in for. They hadn't tried Crystal Temple yet, and now that they're on it, Kakuja's already gone. You know, Kakuja, peace out. Deuces, right? And now we got Keith here. Has to do 2v1. Gets hit by the Twinkle Toes. Down to the final stock. Has to make a five-stock comeback. Yeah, I think not. You can see GTG and Holix hitting that. He said, hop in, hop in. Yo, this is for the fans. Yo, world championship, by the way. That's for the fans. <laughs> Oh, GTG said, hey, Keith, you did well. Get in here and take a photo for the people. Um, man. Go ahead and put this on your resume. That was, that was crazy. Here's your Kodak moment oh. for your fourth place. You know what he said? Take a picture. It'll last longer. Dang. That's rude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Hit into the weapon toss. Okay, and is that the end of his days? Keith is going down, but... GTG and Holix moving forward to go to that loser's finals and see if they can make their way to grand finals. Uh, big time kudos to those two players, especially the way that they came out in that final game. They say, you know what? We have a oh. lead and we got to step on the gas pedal. My gosh. I'm just looking at the amount of damage that Kakuja did that game. 91. Yikers. 91 damage, right? So that means, you know, I, I think... You got them like one person to the yellow, orange a little bit, you know, like barely. Like that's that's a rough look if you're a cockage there. But you know, their first stock got obliterated, right? They didn't even get to play that first stock because it's a two v one combo. And then after that, I think they got.